Okay, let's talk about the Cadillac. A few months ago, probably almost a year ago, I was noticing that my Cadillac was sounding loud. And I'm kind of pissed off at GM for this. My car has, I can't see the, but it's about 130,000 miles on it. I drive it quite a bit. And of course, it's going to rain while I do this, but let's do it anyway, since I'm here. Um, if you notice, if you can hear it, my, my vehicle is quite loud. So, I do my own oil change. And I noticed, I got up underneath here, and all vehicles, my 2014 Silverado was the same way. It has, and most cars have a flex section. And I don't know why GM used, went to this type. They're aluminum. And aluminum and exhaust do not mix. And if you notice, since it's a V6, it's got dual pipes. So it's got two of those flex sections on it. The only thing I could determine is they put them on there to help make it easier to put exhaust systems on. Because older cars didn't have flex sections. So now I've got to fix them. I'm upset because there's two of them, both of them have holes. Now the first one was my fault. I hit something underneath besides some of the axle stuff, if you want to call them that, on my car. Are the besides that, those are that's the lowest point on my car. So I hit something. It popped a hole in them. They're aluminum. They're not very good. Aluminum sucks. So I took my car in this last week when I did the oil change. And I noticed it's gotten a little louder, so I thought maybe I, the patch I'd put on that hole to help calm it down a little bit had fallen off. When I got up underneath there to look at it some more, I noticed that the other one is broken. And it's aluminum. So, I am in the process of installing two. Oh, I'm gonna have it install two of these. I ordered this to replace the first one. I had to sit down, had to figure out my diameter for my tailpipe, my muffler system. And you have to go by the, you have to know the inner and outer diameters of your pipes. Because I had to search around for that. It's, it was 20 bucks. I still gotta do some other stuff because I don't know how well that picture showed and I should have taken a picture of it when I had it on the lift on Thursday because I did my oil yesterday or the day before I can't remember and uh, that's when I noticed it and I could show I could explain a little bit more but it those are just before the catalytic con the catalytic converters in the back the secondary ones and after it goes out going up to the engine from those it goes up probably an inch or two and it curves up and around depending on what side of the engine they're going to i want to put a flex pipe on there and that's the this is the type of flex my chevy silverado had on it and they're a lot stronger they can take a lot more of a beating because they're not aluminum it's woven steel so they could take a lot more of a beating these aluminum ones they thin out you know this car's got the original exhaust on it and it's it's a 2018 so it's five years old it's got 130,000 miles it hasn't spent a lot of time in the snow i bought this in arizona but it shows you how weak the aluminum is if you live in an area and you have a car like this the chevy version of cadillac it doesn't matter if you're in a salt area that's going to rot right through quicker than you can shake a stick at and I wouldn't put the original ones back on one section not both because I was looking at replacing the one section from GM is almost two hundred dollars even going through the GM uh, websites they have like uh, part discounters you can find online that sell nothing but GM stuff and you can look up your part numbers and everything else it's two hundred dollars for one section now if I was gonna go original equipment it would cost me four hundred so what I've done is I went on Amazon a few months ago and I bought a stick welder for $100. I'm going to rebuild this. 
I'm gonna have to order another one of these and I think there's another, you can buy these in different sizes and different lengths. I'm gonna buy another short piece and then I'm gonna get some pipe and I'm gonna fit it together. I'm gonna to weld it to the original spot. And if you, I don't know if you've noticed on that, on the side going out towards the catalytic converter, the joint is right there. So there's a coupler, there's a bolted coupler that comes right off the, the original flex pipe that bolts up. And since that's been bad, of course, I get a permanent engine light because it's telling me my O2 sensors are bad and they're not, I just changed them. They're not firing right, they're not acting right because I'm losing pressure and I'm losing the exhaust. So I'm getting, the, I'm getting bad numbers off my O2 sensor. So now both of them are bad. And the problem, anytime you have an engine light on these newer cars, certain things don't work. My remote start does not work because I have an engine light. I have a reset tool. I can read the ODB codes and I can reset some things on the car. And I've reset the, I've reset the engine before I start getting codes again and my car will start remotely. So just something to be aware of. If you own a GM, especially an XT5, and I would guess any SUV, possibly even sedans that have a similar engine. I've got the 3.6 liter uh, dual exhaust. They're gonna have those aluminum flex bends from the manufacturer. So uh, check them out, keep an eye on them. Maybe make plans to replace them or have your mechanic replace them. It will cost you more. This, since I have to do two of them now, it's probably gonna run me a little over a hundred bucks. But that's, the, and I'm gonna weld them together myself so I get to learn how to weld. And I will do a video on that. But I wanted to bring that up, little project I'm working on. I'm trying to get parts right now. The car runs okay. I get a little bit of noise. I think I do have some minor. It does run funny once in a while, but I've been able to deal with it, but it's getting bad and it's just con gonna continue to get worse, especially the one, the one that cracked on its own um, is a big crack. So I've got to work on getting the money for that and getting that together and getting it fixed. I will do the work on base. I'm retired military. I'm in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and we have a military base here and they have the auto hobby shop. They have everything I need. It doesn't cost me much to use a lift. I'll go in there and I'll start replacing my pipes so just some information for you and a little project i'm working on we'll, we'll see how that turns out once and i'll keep you updated on the parts that i get so all right that's it for now and uh, i'll also let you know in the next video where i got these flex pipes from because they were reasonable so all right take care Bye.